Naples Community Correspondent Dominga Murray here just outside of a python enclosure. In fact, the Naples Zoo and the Conservancy of Southwest Florida are teaming up to cut down on the number of these guys. They are invasive. Meet Dr. Kelsey Stavall. She's a veterinarian here at the Glass Animal Hospital at the Naples Zoo. She works with all kinds of animals and her newest task, putting a python to sleep for surgery. These snakes can help lead them to other snakes in the area. You heard her right. The plan is to use a few snakes as spies to help them find more snakes. The Naples Zoo invited me to go behind the scenes to see the process. And just like what you would do for your favorite four-legged pooch, hospital staff will be using microchips to turn your everyday snake into a scout snake. Researchers go out with radio antennas um, and literally track the individual transmitter frequencies um, and actually go out and look for them. Once they have the chips inside, the male snakes get to slither away. And researchers are betting on these guys to look for love. Because if your goal is to cut down on the number of snakes, you'll need to find the lady snakes. Some of these males will actually lead researchers to the females. The females can lay hundreds of eggs at a time. So if we can get the females either out of the population or get their nests out of the population, then that immediately cuts back on hundreds of new pythons in the, in the environment. Yes, that means our lady snakes would be euthanized, but researchers say it's important work. If we're to restore the balance of predator and prey in a fragile Everglades environment, because at 20 feet and 250 pounds, researchers are keenly aware there's nothing else to keep the pythons in check. They're also looking for some of these really large scout snakes to have as resources to see what they are eating and what they're doing within the ecosystem. Reporting here in Naples, Dominga Murray, Fox 4.